Well, we have another excellent presentation, and we will be learning about all of the incredible uh, health innovations that we have going on in Arizona, and we will turn it over to Joan Kobler walker Thank you, Madam Chairman. It's wonderful to see you today and to see Vice Chairman Cobb, who has uh, been a great champion, and uh, Representative Butler, who is um, from the district that AZ Bio and I call home. So it's wonderful to be here today. Thank you. And one of the things that Chairman Carter has done an amazing job of, and we, I was speaking with Representative Butler on this earlier, is inspiring. And so this presentation today is to share with you some of the truly inspiring work that is being done in Arizona as we are looking to transform health. And um, we're starting off with a quote, there is hope in dreams, in imagination, and in the courage of those who wish to make those dreams a reality. And those are the words of Jonas Salk. Jonas Salk was the father of the polio vaccine, which we hope this year will be the first year in history that there will be no reported cases of polio anywhere in the world. So as we move forward, we have the opportunity to do amazing things. Right now, we are literally transforming health. As we look at Washington, D.C., where I just got back from a week with our leaders in Washington, um, and if you open the newspaper, you look at your television screen, um, Health care is the top topic of the day. We don't have enough time to talk about that in this committee this time. <laughs> However, there's another health care transformation that's happening, and it's happening here in Arizona through innovation. That innovation includes the top picture where you see um, the, the pacemakers that are used commonly today that are about this big, and the new micro pacemaker that was created at Medtronic here in Tempe that is about the size of a calcium capsule. What that means is higher reliability, less pain and suffering for patients, and longer, more productive lives. You also see a picture of the HTG Seek, Edge Seek device, which is being used now to help doctors with very, very small samples um, analyze cancer so patients can be treated more effectively. And of course, Abraxas and Abraxane became cell gene, and today cancer patients are living longer due to this life-saving drug that is manufactured here in Arizona. But our greatest hope for changing health care is in prevention. And again, Arizona is on the forefront of that with programs like Cancer Prevention Pharmaceuticals in Tucson, Representative Powers Hanley, um, which is working on a new drug that will prevent polyps from becoming colon cancer. We have the Arizona Alzheimer's Prevention Initiative, where today we have over 30,000 people who are providing their information and their samples so we can understand healthy brains before they get sick. And equally important, companies like Beacon Biomedical, a young company that licensed technology from the NIH that is providing a new test to detect colon cancer early before it takes the lives of our loved ones. When we talk about t saving lives, we all see ribbons. And those ribbons d designate different kinds of diseases and cancers. You notice that one, an orange ribbon, says for Robin. Robin's my sister-in-law. Um, she was diagnosed in July of last year with AML. It was a very, very extreme case. And because of unique characteristics in her blood, there was no bone marrow match. Robin is now on day 12 after receiving a cord blood stem cell transplant and she's going home from the hospital tomorrow. Now, that donor could have come from anywhere in the world. Possibly it came from Arizona's cord blood banking program, which is supported by the ABRC and Arizona Department of Health. So thank you. 
we also have to look at the work that leads to these breakthroughs, and they come from our universities. You have in your presentation spotlight pictures of all of the different examples from asthma to autism to cancer to diabetes that's being done at our universities. ASU is one of the leaders in proteomics, in diagnostics, and in determining where we will go with the future of healthcare with leaders like Dr. Ann Barker, who was the deputy director of the National Cancer Institute. Those leaders came to Arizona because we made wise investments in building our university research infrastructure so that they have homes to work in. And the work that they are doing is truly amazing. But it's not unique to Central Arizona and the work being done at ASU. When you go south to the University of Arizona, our medical schools are training doctors for the future of tomorrow. And they're prepared to help us get to the next level. In addition to that, we have some of the leading experts in research on asthma, on autism, and diabetes, and cardiology. And also, they're working together to train the next generation of leaders who will be our students. And you can't talk about healthcare in Arizona without talking about Dr. Paul Keim is one of the leading experts in the things that make us sick in the whole world. And Paul and the team are working on solutions for people um, here in Arizona and all for diseases like Lyme disease as well as all across the country. And last but not least, um, it's our students who are going to solve the problems of tomorrow and today. Because when we look at health care, and remember we said it's changing, the reality is, is that the only way we will truly affect and impact health care in the United States is through innovation. When we start coming up with the answers to keep people from getting sick and help them when they do, then our health care costs will go down and we will all benefit. And with that, Madam Chairman, thank you. I return the poem to you. Thank you. Representative Lawrence. I haven't had a chance to thank Joan publicly, but um, I received an award from AZ Bio for my support of it. I was in Florida with about 26 states when that award was given on stage. You brought it to my office. It now has a place of honor, and I thank you. I will continue to support the work that you do. Thank you so much, Madam Chairman, Representative Lawrence, and for all of the trailblazers that have worked with us and helped to spread the word that life-changing innovation makes life better for people in Arizona. Um, we truly thank you. Thank you. It's a great event, too. Members, any other questions? I know this was a, a quick, brief introduction, but I do encourage uh, the members maybe during the interim to get with Joan and kind of talk through some of the specific projects that have um, been really spearheaded here in Arizona that have had both a national and international impact, and it's it's tremendous. And I think these are some of our uh, best also kept secrets that should no longer be secrets. And so we'll we'll do what we can to showcase them. So thank you for being here. Thank you, Madam Chairman, members of the committee. <clears throat>